Welcome to Kevin at 7, where we help you find your superpowers. You can master getting yes without the BS. You want to make today powerful, you seize it. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about why we lose, because it's the opposite of winning. And uh, I always wanted to be, uh, be able to walk like... Um, Remember when you were a kid and the, you'd be walking along the a parking lot and there was the, the rail, the pipe rail, and we'd get up on it and we would try to balance and walk along the rail or along a beam. And I always thought I had pretty good balance, but I never could walk the beam. I never could walk along the, the pipe. And I would always fall off and some of the guys, they'd be, they'd be going all the way down it and they'd be running along it. And I mean, I'd just say, like, come on, why can't I get this? Why can't I do this? And I later discovered, much to my chagrin and much to my delight, the answer to why I couldn't walk a balance beam, why I couldn't uh, walk, I couldn't balance. And we're going to talk about it today because it is the reason that we lose. Sometimes you win. I, I love this statement. I don't know if I made it up or somebody else made it up, but it says this. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Because you've heard sometimes, sometimes you, you'll win some, you lose some. How about this? You win some, you learn some. Because if you take a loss and turn it into a lesson, in other words, what can I learn from this? And you grow from it and use it as a springboard of future success. Then it turns everything around. Napoleon Hill said, in every adversity is a seed of equal or greater benefit. Very powerful. Okay. And so when I was a kid, we'd go, we'd, we'd, go walk along the pipes, the pipe rails or the balance beam, and we're trying to balance and walk along the pipes on the playground, side of the playground or in front of the parking lot. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The playground. How many of you were really great at balancing and walking along a pipe without falling off? Or walking along a rail or, um, you do it on the railroad tracks too, walk along the rail, right? And I tried to balance it, I couldn't do it. And it was not until I was an adult that I figured out the secret of how to balance on a, to balance, just keep my balance. And it was this, that for me, is that if I focused on my next step, like every step put the foot down and when I put the foot down and then with my back step, I pushed off with my big toe. And so I'm pushing into this, the next step. So I plant my feet and push into the next one and push and push. And I'm pushing into the next step. And, I, and I'm making sure that my foot is grounded on that rail. On that, and then I'm pushing into the next one. And I don't know why it works. But it works. And, it, and then the moment I stop, then I fall off. And it hit me that well, before when I was trying to walk on a balance beam or a rail... I was focused on keeping on keeping my balance. I was focusing on balance and I was trying to be balanced and, and then when you start focusing on balance, you get out of balance, what do you do? You focus on not falling. Well, what I was focusing on was not falling rather than focusing on the journey. I was focusing on the obstacle, the thing that was threatening me walking down the pipe, which was balance or a lack of balance rather, I was focusing on the obstacle rather than focusing on the goal, the mission, the journey. That's the difference. Why do we lose? Is because we're focused on the obstacle. We focus on the adversity. We focus on what's going wrong or we focus on what we're afraid of rather than focusing on every step counts. What do I need to do right now? And focusing on the goal and going straight down the line, straight to the end of the into the pole or into the beam or whatever, into the rail, whatever the goal was, focus on the goal. Because when, when we start focusing on the obstacle, a different set of emotions kicks in and those emotions create dis, uh, dissonance in your mind. And when you create dissonance in your mind, dissonance in your emotions, you're like, ah, so move. Move, focus on the goal, where you're going. Walk straight, every step, bam. Just plant the foot, move. Now, I'm not promising you that will make you a great rail walker or a balance beam walker. That may or may not work, but what I did is I realized that I changed the focus, then I changed my effectiveness. And I look at us and our business entrepreneurs, and when 
an entrepreneur starts fo getting focused on what's not working and focused on like, why is this happening to me? When I start doing, I start looking for a reason, like what's happening? Oh my, I, oh, it's just my luck to take a listing at the worst time of the year. I'd be going like, yes, I took a listing at the worst time of the year. It's harder to get a listing today than any other time. I got a listing, yes. Now let's get that thing sold and focus on getting it sold. There's a buyer out there right now for that house. I gotta find them. Gotta figure out how to get that buyer to see the house, like the house, like the price, make an offer and buy it. And then you have to have straightforward conversations with your seller to let them know that's what you're doing. That's what's gonna happen, right? It's just now we gotta focus on the good, focus on what you want rather than focus on what you don't want. Why do we lose? We focus on the wrong things. We focus on the wrong things. Focus on the adversity. Focus on how far it is, how long, oh, we got so far to go. Well, all that does is make the trip longer, right? It just makes it harder. Oh, this is so hard. See, that thought is a thought that makes everything harder. You get what you focus on. So when you say this, oh, it's so hard. Well, now I'm focused on how hard it is. Guess what? It's going to get harder because all you're doing is accentuating the difficulties. You go like, and if something comes up and you go like, see, look how hard it is. Ah, just my luck. Well, there you go. You just reinforce bad luck. Hey, why would you do that? Why would you focus on what you don't want? Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. That's how you win. Thank you guys. Have an awesome day. Play to win and always expect yes. Yes.